All right. It's been a while since we had a good catcher here in these packs. Let's get them. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Cap, back again with another pack opening. And today, we're going to try and get, of course, Yadier Molina. And not only that, but we got some other stuff. We got some new stuff in the schedule. I mean, I'm excited for this video. So if you guys are excited for this video, let me know in the comments down below. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So today is, of course, July 21st, which means we got new flawless reward cards that's right we got an mvp flashback and a signature legend and sds revealed it on twitter we're gonna take a look at who it is right now i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already saw it i'm already a fan of the flawless rewards but we're gonna take a look at it anyway we had a pr run and we lost which if you guys saw on stream you guys should come watch we got 15 packs available but wow let's take a look at the new flawless rewards last time it was gary carter and casey mines now it is bob feller and donaldson let's take a look at bob feller stats first Here's Bob Fellerman, 99 overall, four seam, 12 six slider, change and sinker. Seems like everybody has a sinker these days. 123 stamina, 100 hits per nine, 124 Ks per nine, 63 walks per nine is gonna be the problem. 85 control, 98 velo, and 99 break. This card is absolutely nasty. And uh, if we get him, it'd be pretty nice. Already going for a little over a half a million stubs that's uh that's quite a price and the next card is josh donaldson man josh donaldson mvp year when he was with the toronto blue Jays, when he won it i believe in 2015 here are the stats 102 against righties 104 and 114 against lefties 82 vision 92 discipline 125 clutch 85 fielding 84 arm strength 80 stats pretty much all around 52 speed man this card is absolutely beautiful i don't know about you guys but another good third baseman there's so many good third basemen so far this year you got eddie matthews you got donaldson of course got you know uh uh, uh why am i blanking out arenado you, there's a whole bunch of great players man gary sheffield too i don't know why i blanked out there but yeah I'm excited if I could go 12-0 this year, but hopefully we make it happen. Not only that, but we got, of course, a new headliner, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. It is 98 overall Yadier Molina. We had a signature series revealed last year, but this card is not a signature series. This is his awards card from the Gold Glove season in 2013 or 12. I think it's 2012. Let's take a look at the stats with Yadier Molina. Let's take a look at it. 101 contact versus righties, 173 power versus righties, 115 contact versus lefties, 85 power versus lefties, 102 vision, 70 discipline, 105 clutch, pretty much 90 fielding, and then of course reaction and blocking. But still, man, that's very nice. 35 speed, not the fastest for him, but it is really, really good. Now I am excited to hopefully try and pull this card because let me tell you, this Yadi Merlin card is a great card. I think I dabbled with his other card but not a lot i think because i think it was a world series reward but yeah uh, his card was nice and uh, we're gonna take a look at how much he's actually going for he's going for about uh about seventy five thousand stops which was where brendan mckay was going for but uh let's take a, actually i wanted to take a look at the market see how much uh each guy was going for donaldson already going for half a million stubs and bob feller was the new guy well well a lot more and then, of course, well, you know, Josh Donaldson. So, you know, it's going to be very, very hard for us to go 12 and up. But I just hope we can hopefully, you know, maybe at least get Yadier Molina in this pack opening because it would be really nice. But you know what? Sometimes you play the game and uh, sometimes you don't get lucky and sometimes you do. But hopefully we get good in this pack opening. If you guys think we're going to get good, get lucky. Let me know in the comments down below and give this video a thumbs up. But without further ado, let's get into the pack opening. Right, y'all here we go we got 20 packs we got our division series pack we got five headliners the high diamond and the ducks on the pond we're just gonna open up this division series pack right here we got the bat and we got the name plates uh let's open up this high diamond pack i think we already have everybody except oh, wow i thought we actually had everybody turns out uh we don't have willie mccovey or henderson so uh we could use an all-star so it really doesn't matter who we get uh, let's go with Ricky Henderson. Why not? I, uh, I forgot what year or not. Excuse me. Not year, but position this card was. Uh, we do have the Ducks on the Pond Pack from, of course, you know, from the, um, 
from the player of the month, the lightning cards. After we got packs in, once we got all three, it gave us the ducks on the pond pack. So that's really nice. So here we go, 20 packs. Let's hope to get something good because I'm itching for a good diamond. And uh, hopefully you guys had a great start to your week. I know I did, especially with this uh, Ali Rutschman Bowman Sapphire Auto. If you guys have not seen that video, go check it out. It was the last video I posted. I actually posted it uh, yesterday. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it. But man, I was actually really excited because, yeah, there's a really big checklist. And sometimes you'll get unlucky with not the biggest names and autographs. But Ali Rutschman... I was talking with one of my friends. He told me that out of everybody that's not a first-year Bowman, that's probably the best non-first-year non Bowman that you want to get. And I was pretty happy with that. Uh, he's going for like a good $100, $150. And uh, we, we, I think the Bowman Sapphire, when I bought it, was like a, a little over $400. So we didn't make our money back. But we do have some more boxes. So if you guys do want to see more Bowman Sapphire, let me know in the comments down below because I am really excited. And if you guys actually want me to record a video with a special someone, you guys let me know down below as well. Because trust me, hey, if you guys actually want them to open packs with me, you guys got to let me know and like this video. So I know that you guys have seen it all the way through here. And maybe you guys want to get a certain glitch to open some packs. I'm very excited with that. So here we go. We've already gone through 10 packs. Not one gold that we've hit yet. It's not looking too hot, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Let's see. Okay, okay. Uh, 12 packs through. We still have yet to open up a headliner and the Ducks on the Pond Elite Pack. All right, we've got about what? Maybe five silvers, six silvers, but not one gold. Okay, well, um, I really hope this isn't going to be a bad pack opening because uh, I really want to pull something here. There's another silver, Corey Dickerson. All right, here we go. We got five standard packs remaining, y'all. Here we go. Okay, okay, two bronzes. I'm going to be honest, not looking too good. I'm uh, starting to get a little bit upset. I mean, like I said earlier in the year, we had one of the hottest pack looks ever. And now it's just going down the drain, man. I don't know. Maybe we'll pick up some heat later down the season. But right now, I'd really like to pull a diamond out of these standard packs. Matt Adams, who just signed with the Braves, actually, in a minor league deal. Very, very happy for him. Big city. And we get another silver. All right, y'all. Unfortunately, we didn't get one gold or diamond in the standard pack. So here we go. We got the five headliners, and it is now time for the main event of the evening. Like I said, we got five headliners, one in ten chance for Yadier Molina, 98 overall. Hopefully, we can get him. If not, I'll just take a regular diamond. So here we go. All right, first pack. Come on. Let's see. And last time we went like this, we got a diamond. Is it happening? Okay, no, but it's a gold, so it went in order, which I'm a little bit uh, happier for. Okay, four regular headliners remaining. Bronze, 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 diamond, right? Okay, it's another gold. That's not bad. Max Muncy going for a little over a 1,000. Uh, I'm excited for the collections that are going to be coming out, uh, I believe, on the 28th or sometime next week. But I'm very excited because you got to get all the best cards that you can. And we get another gold. So all the golds that we could have gotten in standard packs are not coming up in headliners. It's a one in three chance. We've got it in three consecutive headliners. So here we go. We got two left, though. Two left. Come on. Bronze. Excuse me. Common. Bronze. Bronze. Another gold. Okay. Four consecutive golds. That only means one thing, right? It means we can get a diamond. Here we go. Come on. Last headliner pack. And come on. Help me out, Ramon. Help me out. Come on. Or coach, I know you took over. I'm going to be the, uh, the show tips. I mean, hey, you're probably watching these packs too. Come on, help me out. Oh, I thought that was going to turn out shiny silver blue. But no, it's Michael Comforto. We do have one Ducks on the Pond pack though, which means we have a chance to get a good card. Ernie Banks. We get Chapman or Joe Adele. Or we could get anybody from the uh, rare tier. McCutcheon, Granky, Wade Boggs, or... Any of these five base cards, which is, uh, I already have, uh, I got rid of El Duque. I do have Rodney, Kingman, Perez. I don't think I have Murphy, but I'm pretty, their prices have mostly gone up because, you know, the collections. But how much, I, how, I wonder how much Joe Dell's going for. A, 125000 Chapman's got to go for a lot, right? Yeah, about 140000 150 maybe. And, of course, we got Ernie Banks, who's a dip uh, just recently, but... Still about 140,000. So here we go. The last time we opened up the Ducks on the Palm Packs, I don't think we even pulled a rare rare tier card, which is a little bit unfortunate, but here we go. We got one last pack remaining. 
Let's see if we can get it. Come on, help me out. Help me out, please. Get an elite tier. Elite tier. Come on, help me out. Okay. Well, um, it was nice to know that all the missions and grinding I did for uh, for the player of the month just uh, resulted in a in a in a base round. So uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's nice. Uh, that's uh, that's nice. We'll take Murphy. Why not? I was really hoping for a little bit something better in today's video, but you know what? We we got to get out of this stretch that we're in because trust me, we need to we need to get out of this like hole we're in. I don't know whether it's luck, who knows? But uh, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys enjoyed this pack opening. Be sure to watch my new video that just came out. Remember, yesterday, the Bowman Sapphire pack opening. Like I said, if you guys want to see another, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel. It is very much appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see y'all later. Thank mm -hmm. you.